Well, hello there. No matter when, where, how you're watching this. Good morning, good day, good evening. This is Nogan, your friendly mumbling average gamer. April 3rd, 2024, the developer posted another new patch. We are now up to patch 1.4.6D. So we're still under the modularity big patch. These are again some additions and changes and bug fixes. So let's take a look at them and see what are new changes to the game. All right, first, additions. If you place items in the world container, they will now save and also not be reset when loot refill timers is turned on. So that is going to be interesting because before the expectation is if you leave something in a world container, so not a container, a buildable that are placed by the player, by us, they would just disappear uh, after we reload the game. Looks like uh, the developers has added code to actually retain those items. It's gonna be interesting. For example, with my scarcity run, if I'm running out of backpack space while I'm on a mission and I collect way too many items, I could now potentially just leave them in the containers and come back and pick them up later. So let's take a look at the game. Now, in terms of loot, yeah, this is the timer that we were talking about. Loot refill timer in minutes. Uh, I just set it to 38. So I actually saved the game earlier and before I do that, I place an item in here in this vending machine. So this is, I guess, consider a world container, All right? Let's see if it's still there. Hmm. It's not. So that is not how I understand this change or addition will work. I'm quite sure I even have a screenshot for it. That's the vending machine, and I left a classified area key card in here. Then I saved the game, and I reloaded, it, and now it's not there. <laughs> I thought we even have a small patch, like a couple megabytes of mini patch just earlier today. I think that was when the developers tried to fine tune this particular feature. But I don't think it's working. I don't know why. All right, let's just continue on the list and see what else has been changed. New loot difficulty setting that adds a degradation value to all loot multipliers. For example, after 20 days, finding food will be slightly more rare, etc. That's interesting. So I would definitely turn it on for my scarcity run because that means things would just get more and more scarce as you survive in this world longer. Next. If you are in close proximity to AI, especially when first spawning in, they will not spawn. So that is, that is a good thing because after you clear an area, right now, if you just save the game, log off, and then you come back and load up the same save file, the area that you just cleared, zombies or human AIs would respond and you'll be in big trouble. I guess that would fix that issue. I haven't tested it yet, but this is a good addition for sure. So the next two items are related. New medical item models and new medical bag item. This means you know, some of the medical items right now has a different icon or, or models in general in their 3D form. There's also a new item called the medical bag. So let's take a look at them. Uh, I've noticed at, at least three items has been changed. First is the bandage, a little bit more um, refined look. The racks also get changed, it's different from before. And the uh, splint also got changed. And then, as you can see, this is the new items that we talked about. The medical bag, the icon looks like this. And it has a bigger storage size, 8x8 comparing to the old medical container, which is six by six. So putting them side by side, you can see that quite a lot bigger than the old medical container. What's next? So it looks like there are a bunch of changes too. Change to depth blur when zooming in, sight or MMB, middle mouse button. So I guess that's um, when we zoom in, either like this or zoom in further 
blur which enhance the sense of depth has been improved so i can't tell without comparing to the how it used to work side by side i mean this looks okay to me i'll trust the developer that's a good thing next increased wood and stone from harvestable resources definitely good for guys like me who love to craft stuff and base building so typically keeping in mind that i already have harvest master perk which double the amount of resources from harvestable notes i would get like 16 ish wood from chopping down a tree so let's see how many we're gonna get now so that's two Three, four, five, six, seven, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. Okay, twenty-one. I'm sure this number is randomized within the range, so that's definitely increased. Airdrop spawn location is now more central to the map. Typically, the airdrops has been dropped mostly around this area, east of Creek Prison. I, I, I guess you know uh, a lot of people like to hang out. <laughs> In this area, the center of the map, because it's close to the valley safe zone, so it's gonna be easier for them to reach the airdrops and to pick them up. All right, what's next? Improved dead eye range and damage. So that's gonna be good news for all those dead eye pistol lover. So as per the wiki, dead eye used to do 44 base damage. 155 headshot damage they didn't record the range though now damage is 97 more than double headshot damage 206 increase of at least one third so effective range is 450 meters critical hit chance and critical damage multiplier stays the same 30 percent and 50 percent the dead eye is based on the winchester 45 the damage and headshot for the winchester course are much lower but the effective range if I remember correctly they were quite close the Winchester is 175 meter and right now the data is 450 that's a lot more than the Winchester considering that is using 50 caliber bullets right and it's rather rare and it's pretty big caliber I think that makes sense so makes this gun more viable maybe I'll try it out too Whoa, I like the sound effect nice all right, what's next? Improved zombie hitbox. So I guess that means the zombie is gonna be easier to hit, especially when they face hug us. I hope this would help too. Optimization to foliage, certain models and UI. I think I do experience some drop frames once in a while, and hopefully this is gonna help. Reduce gunpowder required for crafting ammo. So yeah, that is gonna be great, especially for my scarcity run. Right, so we all need 5 gunpowder and 10 bullet casing to make 10 bullets. That's good, because it's easier to, to get bullet casing too, because we can make them as long as we can find scrap metal. Good change, I like that. Adjusted some UI menus and how they work or look. I haven't noticed anything major that's been changed. So probably the changes are quite subtle. Maybe that's a good thing because if I don't see any big issue, meaning that these change are pretty natural. All right, next, bug fixes. Fixed battle-ready Glock suppressor not reducing noise produced by weapon. As a matter of fact, one of my viewers Pressels, he was just asking me about this because he does have battle ready Glock and with the suppressor and apparently it wasn't working. I just told him so he's gonna give that a try to make sure this is working. The timing is perfect because you know, he just asked me about it and the developer released the patch to fix it like the same night. You know hopefully that's fixed. We'll see. Fixed overlap for roofing showing up as not allowed is allowed now. I already expect a certain level of glitches. I've been just working around them by basically spamming and moving a little bit uh, repeatedly. Somehow eventually they, these things would, would snap or I may have to, you know, the, the order of which I attach the different pieces, I just have to change them a little bit and sometimes they would connect properly. 
but any fixes and that's gonna help with improving the base building experience is definitely welcome okay fix object distance calling all right this one i really have no idea what it is maybe this is with objects in a far distance not being drawn uh, if anyone know what it means please let me know next fix issue for example where setting loot rarity lower would cause no meat to spawn on an animal in my scarcity run i definitely ran into a lot of situation where i killed an animal especially my most hated wolves they don't drop any meat at all so i thought it was just because of the rarity settings if that's actually a bug and i suppose to get more meat that would be awesome next fix an issue that could cause enemy health bars and notification to not show okay so i think i have run into this issue quite a few times where i see some bandits in a distance but before i can actually identify them what i would usually do is you know zoom in with my sniper rifle to see if they were bandits or friendly right a lot of time i couldn't see their health bar i hope that is what this fix is supposed to correct that would be most welcome Next, fix the issue where dying in water would cause weird flying movement when respawning. The next one is, is uh, related. Fix the issue where exiting to main menu and back after being in a body of water also cause weird flying movement. I should also fix other similar issues. Okay, <laughs> I did die in water a couple of times. And those situations, I don't think it's going to cause that weird flying movement. But hey, you know, <laughs> it's fixed, it's good, I guess. But I kind of wish I can see that, you know, just for the meme. <laughs> All right, next. Fix player suicide if permadeath was active. I haven't tried permadeath yet. I am a chicken. I am a noob. <laughs> so I guess when I get around actually trying permadeath, I wouldn't run into this problem. That's great. Good news for all the permadeath players. Next, player rotation now gets loaded correctly. You guys have probably seen this happen during my stream too, where my character actually stopped rotating and facing the right direction. So when it moves, it looks like it's doing uh, Michael Jackson moonwalk. So I don't know if this is what it fixed. I hope so. Although again, a little bit meme, but it is a little bit uh, annoying when the, my character is not facing the right direction. Next. Fix human AI not attacking wolves and bears. I haven't noticed that. If it's fixed, that's good. Fix random convoys having broken nose horns. So I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that means the convoys spawned at the wrong location. If anyone knows, do tell me. Fix landmines being immune to gunfire. Yeah, I try a couple of times, try to shoot at the landmines to set them off so I don't have to worry about stepping on them. Didn't seem to respond to my gunfire, so that's good. Next, fix turrets not correctly locking onto and attacking targets. That is very good because for those who's been watching my cheesy streams, you know I'm the master of cheesyverse and I love just setting up my turret stations to help me fight anything. I do notice, you know, a lot of time the turrets seem to be firing, they're not hitting the enemies. I thought it was just because they were out of range, but if this actually fixed that problem so that my turrets is actually functioning properly and attacking targets, that will make my cheese better. Launched projectiles should no longer explode in your face in first person. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm not sure if it only involves grenade launchers and rocket launchers. You know, if it fixed that problem, it's great. Fixed AI spawning after an infestation was destroyed. That's good to be fixed, you know. I think it's not a big deal. Fixed exit lockpick UI saying none. I might have seen that. Again, it's not a big deal. Glad it's fixed. Fix magnify icon on world containers not showing. For holders like me, I would hate to miss loot, so that would help me not missing any loot. Fix shooting while on a ladder. Okay, that's good. Fix not being able to rebind, auto walk, or run. Alright. 
fixed XM250 box Mac. Not sure what that fix is. I do have an XM250, but I haven't tried it yet. Well, for those who have an XM250 and know what it means, do let me know. Change to make AI shooting through terrain hopefully <laughs> fixed. So yeah, if AI is shooting through terrain, that's cheating. I'm glad it's fixed, but the fact that the developer says it's hopefully fixed, so maybe he's not 100% sure. So that's why I was laughing. But yeah, hopefully it's fixed. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much, Survivor, the developer. Let's go back and enjoy the game. Well, ladies and gents, that's it for now. This is Nogan. Thanks so much for watching. You've been wonderful. Stay safe and healthy. Be nice to each other. See you next time.